TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Umbrella Academy Season 4, which was the final season. And then we're going to do some shout-outs, talk about the merch, and uh, talk about what our charity of the month is going to be for September. Did you guys watch um, Umbrella Academy Season 4? Unfortunately, yes. Final season? I, I didn't get the chance to yet, although I liked most of the first season, so... Just, just, just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> Peter! Woohoo! Xbox! Walk! Away! Just walk away! <laughs> so, I... I don't think it's a horrible show. I, I think it's... The thing is, is I've watched a few of the seasons, and so I'm connected to the characters. I like... I like a lot of the characters, right? Like, majority of the main characters I enjoy a lot. But this is one of those shows or one of these things where... They have good characters, the writing's kind of eh, but they're, it's, it has bad parts that can definitely sour the overall show. Like, mm -hmm. they have these random dance sequences in almost every season, and sometimes they work and they're funny and it works mm -hmm. for it. And But sometimes you're just like, why is this here? This is dumb and this makes no sense. And you're like, you couldn't have been like, they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. You know, like, or they were, oh, you know what I mean? Like... It just, there's dumb stuff like that. What about you? What did you think? Well, I felt like the only decent season was the first season. And it kind of just kept going further and further downhill as it went on. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, pretty much, the way it ends is very lackluster. And uh, if it was done right, it could have been really good. But it just didn't... It felt rushed and forced, oh. and uh, felt like they understand who the people like, and so they try to focus on them, which doesn't always work. Like, uh, they focus so much on Five, but I feel like with Five's character, he can be a little too much, and mm. so it would have been better to kind of break it up and involve more of the family instead of just focusing so heavily on the, one of the better characters. Because even if you have a good character, too much of a good character can be bad as well. Well, that whole arc with him and I don't remember her name, but like that was weird. It was dude. weird. It was weird because, I mean, he looks like a kid and I know he's getting older, but it was still too weird. It's just like... You know, another reason I can't get into House of Dragons, it's like, sorry, but the whole, you know, incest thing, I, I just can't. So, you know, but yeah, it's like, I'm like, it was, just, it was just weird, and I was like, why this random tangent that went on way too long? Yeah. You know, and mm. I was like, that that was weird, and like you said, the, the climax wasn't that much of a climax, it just kind of felt like, they were like, yeah, this is the end, so we just gotta accept it. Now, the end-end was... I thought that was nice and cute and adorable and, and, and kind of beautiful. But, like... But overall, yeah, it was... It was it had, definitely has some pretty heavily-handed, weak parts. It's just... I enjoy the characters overall, you know? Mm -hmm. So, it was... It was... It was okay. Like, I feel like it wasn't the worst ending... Um, I'm kind of glad they ended it before it got worse, I guess, if there's a get worse, you know, in a sense. Like, oh, I don't think it's it the was, worst it could it be. It was already pretty bad. So, I haven't watched the other seasons, too, so I feel like, I don't know if I'm missing stuff, because there could be stuff, but, I mean, they had some interesting actors overall. I, I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I It's really hard for me, because, like, like I said, I have watched, like, the first few seasons, haven't, then picked back up, and jump back into this. So it wasn't hard for me to get into it not watching the previous season, so I will say that is a strength. But the season of itself was like, yeah, you definitely have to know these characters, otherwise you're not going to be invested. And then it was just kind of like, I don't know. It was just kind of, eh. 
So even then, it's hard to say that like it's worth checking out. But I I don't also. But I don't want to give it a pass. I don't want to give it a pass. But unless you really like these characters, I don't think it's worth watching. Okay. But it looks like shit and it smells like shit. It's shit. So pass. Hmm. Okay. Kira Talk Nerd to me, our grade scale is must see, must stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course, and then uh, check it out or worth checking out, and then pass. So for shout outs, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal. You've seen some of the videos. You may or may not have seen some of the videos I've done with her, and they're great. We have this great conversation back and forth. So definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover movies, so if you like, if you're a hardcore movie person, definitely listen to them because they cover stuff ASAP and they'll keep you on on the know. And then they're hilarious. Uh, Pesky Gremlins, they they do web comics like MK Wizard, so that check that out. Uh, watch it if you can. Podcasts, they're awesome. Amerime Media, they're really cool as well. Um, and then uh, for merch. But yogurt, what is this? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> Come, walk this way. Take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. For the new month for September, it's going to be Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies, so it's mainly going to be focused on that, but we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more. I don't know. And, um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is right there. We have... <laughs> this, uh, this hat as well. Is a little oh, yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Tog Nerdy to Me hat. And uh, our magic, the lovely right? Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG, <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. <laughs> so, an ambassador. Got my Ninja Turtles talk nerdy to me shirt. Yes. And uh, and I got one too. Mine's blue tank top right here, and I got the shorts to go with it. Uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so, if you buy any merch from us. Uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch, but 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as it is, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month, but we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too, yeah. you know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks, so I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Flat Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all. <laughs>